Hey guys, today I want to talk about two potential pickups. I like them a lot at this current price. I do expect them to go down a little bit more, but the current price is very good for this these cards. Uh, the first card is Dark Confidant. Right now in TCG Player, you can buy a mint, near mint, Dark Confidant for $32.99. Wow, if you had told me this when before Dark Confidant was reprinted, this one is actually in Modern Masters 2015, eBay it's actually quite a bit cheaper as well. So if you told me Dark Confidant would drop to $32.99, I would say, hey, you're pretty crazy. That's not going to happen. I doubt it. But that's the price he currently is. Uh, he's been reprinted two times, but as a mythic and a kind of expensive set. So that price, I mean, his price point and playability, if Jun becomes a deck to beat in modern, he should be more valuable than he currently is. And I don't see why not, because unless Control makes a comeback, I can see him in some type of black, red burn. There's so many different decks, archetypes, I could see Dark Confidant being very good at. Or good in so I don't expect his price to be sub 32 sub sub 35 for a very long time and now might be a good time to pick up a place out of him before he goes up all it really takes is one deck he has everything that you would look for a speculation as you look at cards that have price memory he has price memory you look at cards that are unique and do stuff give you card advantage curve out well he's at two very good card now we're going to talk about the other card at two in standard i was not a fan of this card when it first came out i'm still not a huge fan of the card but the card is sub nine dollars right now so for a near mint a lot different when you look at this card at nine dollars and when you look at it at 20 or 15 i expect it to fall until at least it hits seven Depends on the Pro Tour. I don't see many copies of this on the Pro Tour right now. And I don't think it's actually that good. Control is not a deck to beat in the Pro Tour of Shadows of Innistrad right now. So this card will plummet some more. Now, that being said, it might be mod and playable. I've been playtesting this card, and it looks good to me. Um, it, feels, it feels like a card that you would play. Like It's kind of like Jace... Obviously, he's not Jace, and you will always play Jace over this, but it feels good enough. Like, in mod, it's unique enough. Its abilities are uh, strange enough, if you will, that if it does make an impact modern, I like it. It kind of reminds me a lot of Coco. When Coco first came out, everyone's like, what is this card, and what does it do? Well, it turns out Coco does a lot. It's very unique. So when I look at cards, I... If a card I haven't seen before, that's interesting to me. And this is a card I have not seen before, and it plays very differently. Anyway, bye guys.